Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. I am here today with a video dedicated to luxury makeup. I wanted to share with you guys my favorite luxury products that I think are worth the money. Are these products that you need? No. And are these products that you can probably get something really good for half the price and less expensive? Probably yes, they're great products out there at all different price ranges, but these I would say are my splurges, my luxury products, products that for me I think are worth the hype. I have a mix of different products that I like to use, like my favorite eyeliner is from the drugstore. Nothing compares to that eyeliner. I have some foundations from the drugstore that I love, some are high-end. So I do have a little bit of, um. You know, I switch it up a lot. Like, I don't use only luxury products. I also don't use only drugstore products. But these products on this list are definitely my luxury products that I love, that I buy over and over again. If they run out, I run to the store and I get them. So I wanted to share with you guys my go-to high-end, very expensive luxury makeup products that I love and highly recommend. So we better get started. First product is an oldie but a goodie and this is just one that it is an expensive product but it just lasts so long this does not you do not run out of this product and that is the Chanel the Soleil Tan de Chanel and I not too long ago bought a brand new one and this product just lasts a very very long time this is the bronze universal it is a cream bronzer, cream contour type of product. That's how I like to use it. I just feel that with your makeup, it just adds that extra boom to your makeup. If you want to layer it with powder over it, it looks beautiful, flawless, lasts all day. But you can also wear it on its own, which is something that I like to do a lot. And I just think that this is a great product. It is a splurge. But I feel like for the price and how long it lasts, you can get other cream bronzers that you're gonna run out of them really really fast and probably even end up spending more than what this costs just because I mean this takes forever to run out it's such a great product go to bronzer this is a powder bronzer that I love which I do consider a high-end product is from Marc Jacobs and that is the Omega bronze in the 104 Tantastic this is a beautiful bronzer it is big it smells so good. It has like a little coconutty type of smell. This used to be like a special edition and I feel like it's already like on the permanent line and I love it. It's beautiful. It's actually less expensive than the Tom Ford bronzer, which I also have. And I feel like between this one and the Tom Ford, I would definitely pick this one. I think that this one is worth the splurge. It's also a very big compact, lasts a long time. I use this all the time and I haven't even hit pan on it, but it is just such a great, quality bronzer. I love how it goes over my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel and it just goes on nice and smooth. It doesn't look muddy and I think it's just like a beautiful color. So I do think this is worth the splurge. For eyeshadow palettes, I have to say that the big splurge are the Natasha Denona palettes. I have two and I have not regretted these purchases. They are very pricey palettes and I just think that they're pricey just because they're such great quality and that's how much it's gonna cost if you wanna have really great quality eyeshadows. They're beautiful. This is the Gold Palette, which I love. I've shared this one before for you guys in the past, and I just think it's totally worth it. And then the Biba Neutral Palette is another one that I think it's worth it because you can use this so much. It's very neutral. It has a ton of shades that you can use. You have more mattes in this one, and then you also have nice pops of color if you want to add some shimmer to the lid. I feel like if you're going to really splurge on one of these palettes, I would definitely get one of these two they're more neutral tones I mean she has other palettes which are nice and colorful I don't know if I would splurge on those just because I feel like the big colorful like bright colorful shades it's not really something that I'm gonna use all the time but I do find myself using these two a lot and you can definitely tell the quality from the Natasha Denona eyeshadows how buttery they how buttery they are how they blend in how those pops of like shimmer with your finger you pat them on your lid and it just gives you like this like wow glow to your lid so I definitely think it's worth it I would definitely stick with the neutral ones if you're gonna spend that much money on an eyeshadow palette 
but they're just great, great quality, and I think they're really worth the splurge. I have a brush that I definitely think it's worth the money. This is the Artiste Oval 8 brush. This is the brush that I like to apply foundation with. It just applies foundation so nice and flawlessly. I feel like they have a bigger one, but I think like this is the perfect size to apply foundation to your face. You apply it super super fast you can get your neck everything and it's just like a really nice brush it is a pricey brush but it's worth the splurge i think they're really good quality i've had had one bad experience where i actually broke it um it broke kind of like here like in the end it's only happened once i have bought three of these brushes and that was with one of them so i love it though messed it up it was probably my fault because i haven't had any other problems with the other two that i bought i also have smaller ones i think i have like the oval six which i have also used like under my eyes but if i had to pick one it would definitely be the oval eight this is probably my number one brush to apply foundation with but like I said, it's pricely, it's pricey, definitely a splurge if you spend this much money on a face brush, but totally worth it for me. From Tom Ford, I have this eye defining pen. This is my go-to liquid eyeliner. I think it is the best. It actually has two ends, one that is like a little bit thicker and one that is a little bit thinner. What's a little bit wasteful about this one is that I really just like the thinner end, which is this one right here. I mean, I guess I could use the thicker end, but I tend to just use one side, which kind of stinks. But this is a really, really great liquid eyeliner. I feel like it's the best one to achieve a perfect winged eyeliner look, and I just love it. I feel like, I don't know, my hand is not the best. I feel like it's even like a little bit shaky when I'm doing winged eyeliner or just any black eyeliner. And then this just makes it so nice and easy to just get right in and make the line nice and thin and just like perfect and it's very very black which I love and I love how it dries as well so definitely a splurge for eyeliner there are other eyeliners out there the Kat Von D tattoo liner is a good alternative that is a lot less expensive but my go-to one is definitely the Tom Ford one they're doing like construction next door someone just moved in and they're making a lot of noise so I'm really sorry if it's you can hear it in the video it's driving me crazy because it's like the apartment that is like right here to my left. And the last two products are from the brand La Mer, which as you guys know, it's a very expensive brand, but they do have amazing makeup products. The first one, of course, is my go-to foundation, which is the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. This is definitely a favorite foundation of mine that I absolutely love, and it is definitely a very big splurge. It's a foundation that is over $100, and it is just so good, but I feel like it's like my little foundation luxury splurge. I can use it during the day, I can use it at night. It just makes your skin look beautiful and flawless, and it is just such a great product. The next La Mer product that I highly recommend that I definitely repurchase all the time is the Loose Powder. This is the powder that I like to use to set my under eye area, and now it's pretty much the powder that I use all over the place. I like I, I'm using a lot less powder on my face. So what I do is I just use this La Mer, the loose powder under my eyes, very little with a brush just to set my under eye area. And then I just apply it in the T-zone areas just very lightly. And that is pretty much where I apply all the powder to my face. I don't really use all that much powder anymore. So if I do use powder, it's usually this one. A very good alternative that is less expensive is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. That one is amazing, um, but definitely my number one choice is the La Mer one, and I know it's expensive, but for me, it is totally worth it. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will make sure to list all my favorite luxury products in the description box down below in case you guys want to check them out. If you had a lot of fun watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye!